Venn Diagrams, Part 1. Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 1, just the basics of Venn Diagrams. Let's get started. Alright, now to understand the basics of Venn Diagrams, let's take an example. Let us say N of A are the kids that play sports. And let's say N of B are the kid that studies. Alright? Now we've got two groups of kids. However, in a school, you will have some kids that play as well as study. They come in this overlapping section. Now when you overlap N of A, that's the people who play sports, as well as people who study, the overlap region will, con will contain those students that play as well as study. Now, how do you find the people that either play or study or do both of them, right? That is this entire section, right? They either play sports or they study or they do both of them. Now, what will be your answer? If you say it's N of A plus N of B, then you're wrong. This is how you find out. Now you have to find the number of kids that either study, play or do both of them, right? So that will be a N of A union B. Now, don't look at this formula right now. Just understand this, all right? Now, we said that N of A are the kids who play sports and N of B are the kids who study, right? The intersection of this is the number of kids that play sports as well as study. Now, what is N of A union B? N of A union B are the kids that either play a sport or study or do both of them. That is this part. This entire thing, all right? Now, how do you calculate that? You would normally say that it's N of A plus N of B. That's wrong. Think of it like this way. If you're overlapping two circles, you will have this one side of the B circle and underneath that you will have this side of the A circle, right? So you'll have two overlapping faces, but we don't require that. We just need one of them. Now let us split N of A, the people who play sports, as this. This is the same circle, all right? I just cut this part out. And let us split B as this circle, all right? Now we have this half and you have the intersection. But what do we require for N of A union B? We require this half, right? So that we get from here. We require this half, that we get from here. And we require this middle part, that we can take from any one of these. We don't need both of them. So what we'll do is we'll add both the circles and we'll remove this one of them, right? So you will add N of A, that's the first term, plus N of B, the second term. Both the circles have been added and you need to remove one of the common parts. But the common part is N of A intersection B. So N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B will give you N of A union B. All right, let's solve a simple problem. Problem one, in a given school, 600 boys play either hockey or football or both. 75% of them play hockey and 45% of them play football. How many students play both hockey and football? Now in problem one, they've said that 600 boys play either hockey or football, right? So if they play either hockey or football or both, right? They will come in N of A union B. Let's assign H as hockey and F as football, right? So N of H union F will be 600 boys since either of them play a sport. Now, this has given you that 75% of them play hockey. Now they've not said only hockey, they've said hockey. So N of H will be 75% of 600. 75% of 600 is um, 450, right? Now, N of F, that's the number of people who play football, not only football, they play football. So they may play hockey as well. So N of F will be 45% of six, uh, 600. That will be um, 270. All right. Now, just apply this main rule. Yeah. Okay. Now you have N of H union F, N of H and N of F. Just substitute them. They've asked you to find how many players play both hockey and football. That is N of H intersection F. Right. If you have your hockey and your football players here, they've asked you to find this. How many players play both the sports? Now, if you just substitute this in the equation here, you'll have N of H union F is equal to N of H plus N of F minus N of H intersection F. Right? If you take this on this side and bring it here, it will give you N of H intersection F is equal to N of H plus N of F minus N of H union F. If you substitute the values here, we know N of H union F is 600 boys, right? So now N of H is 450 plus 270, that's N of F, minus N of H union F will be 600. Right now, 450 plus 270 will give you um, 720, 720 minus 600. So that is 120. So 120 boys play both hockey and football. Alright. 
All right, so this was part one on Venn diagrams, where we saw the basics of Venn diagrams and we derived the formula. In my coming videos, I'll solve many more tougher problems. If you like this video and found this helpful, do subscribe to my channel. I'd also appreciate it if you repost this video on Facebook and told your friends about it. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for all the support. I've been getting loads of emails from you guys asking me to make many more videos on different topics. All I ask in return is to tell your friends about these videos so that I can help as many students as possible. Spread the knowledge. Cheers!